Hey guys, so today we are doing a different setup. This looks different, right? Oh, sunlight, sunlight. So I didn't know what to film today and I didn't feel like filming any of, any of my normal stuff. And like I have a bunch of stuff on my roster to film, but I didn't really want to film any of it. So I decided to just kind of do like a little social media thing where I said, send me some questions and I'll do like a miniature Q&A. And then you guys sent me over a hundred questions. So... <laughs> It was supposed to be mini and now it's going to be not so mini and I'm probably going to have to do this in parts. So part one will be today. I'm going to answer as many questions as I can. So I hope that I answer your questions well and hopefully this baby stops screaming next to me. If you can hear that, I apologize. You know, as you can see, I'm going to be speaking into my headphones because I don't have a mic. I guess I should probably get one of those for times like these, but I think for now this is going to give me the best audio sound for you guys without wind. So. We're gonna just give this a test run, see how it works out. Let's get started with this super relaxed video. Let me pull up some of the questions here. I'm gonna try to read as many of them and answer as many of them as I can. If I don't get to your question today, then don't worry, we are going to do this again, I promise. I'm gonna get all these questions answered. I, I will, someday. It's a goal now. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna answer is a question that a bunch of you guys sent in and questions like kind of like this, they were all very similar. So I'm gonna answer this one first. And that question is, how are you losing this much weight? Slash, what are you eating? Slash, are you a vegan? And things of that nature. And the answer to that is, I guess I'm kind of a vegan. That's how I tend to think of myself and what I tell people when I'm trying to tell them like what kinds of foods I eat. That is how I have been losing the weight. It's definitely not something I did intentionally. So let me kind of like background story this. Flashback about six months ago, I started having some different like digestive issues and stuff. And if you guys remember, I was, I made a couple vlogs about it, about how like I thought I was really sick and I thought I had like some problems or, you know, whatever it was. And I couldn't figure it out. So around that time, I started cutting out different things out of my diet. And the first one that I cut out of my diet was meat. And so I quickly became a vegetarian. And I've been a vegetarian in my past for short amounts of time, and I've never really stuck with it. So it was easy for me to cut out meat. And then I still was having some stomach issues and I really just started cutting back on all the things that I eat trying to figure out you know what I could eat to feel better so since that time you know I I no longer eat meat dairy soy now which is sad I try to stay off of like sugar I don't eat many grains and if I do eat grains I need them to be gluten-free I'm not celiac I just I don't I don't feel good when I eat gluten stuff so for what it's worth. So the one thing that I do eat that's not inside the vegan lifestyle is eggs. Besides that, I eat really vegan and really grain free. So, you know, I kept eggs in my diet because I know that they are fine on my system and because it's a good source of protein. So my diet consists mainly of vegetables and fruits and then eggs every once in a while. I like to throw them on a salad. Yeah, I would say I am a vegan besides the egg part. And I know that that's not like the ethical way to be a vegan, but that's also not why I'm a vegan. I'm not a vegan for the ethical reasons of being a vegan. Not saying that that's like not great because it is great. It's just that that's not why I am a vegan. I'm a vegan for personal reasons, for uh, like stomach reasons, for digestive reasons. Um, you know, the perks of that is that I'm not consuming any animals. You know, there's the, the byproduct eggs. So. I only eat cage free, so for what it's worth, I don't know. It's just the preference that I have for, for what I eat. And then on top of that, going back to the weight loss, just so you guys know where that was at, January was my highest weight. I was at 242. Right now in September, I am at 196. So I've lost about 40 pounds. Um, it's pretty crazy, like especially because it's very much only dieting. It's not, and it's not even dieting. I just took out stuff. Like it's, it's just, I'm not exercising, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, so it is what it is. And it wasn't intentional in any way. You know, I didn't go in saying, I'm going to lose 40 pounds. I just didn't want to feel like I had stomach aches because I'm really sensitive to that. So I stopped eating stuff that gave me stomach aches. And now I am this almost vegan person. Can we call it a vegan? I'm a vegan because I'm a vegan that eats eggs. Okay, the next question I got from a lot of you guys was, when am I gonna do an apartment tour? And I'm gonna do an apartment tour soon. Like, I promise you, it's gonna happen. I'm like in the process of getting my apartment perfect. I'm trying to get it decorated, which is the holdup, and 
you know, Troy peed on our rug just yesterday morning, so we had to throw that out. So now I got to get a new rug, and that always takes a couple weeks. So the answer is, I promise you, I will give you a full apartment tour, like, of the space and all of my decor and everything, and I hope that you guys like it. But because... I want it to be perfect. It's taking me like forever. So just be patient. Like I swear to you, it will happen. It just, it's going to take some time. So that's that. All right. The next one I'm going to answer is from Facebook and it's from Jesse and it is what shampoo slash conditioner do you use? And currently I'm using the Vichy Durkos uh, psoriasis shampoo. There's a video. I'll link it down below. I made all about it because it's the only thing that's ever worked to clear up my psoriasis. And then I switch up my conditioner a lot because it's the thing that gives my hair a scent because my shampoo doesn't have any scent. So I right now am using one from the organics company like line that's sold in drugstores and it's some kind of japanese cherry blossom something or something like that it's it's a purple bottle so i switch them up all the time i don't i don't know i'm sure you'll see it in empties video soon okay another one from facebook this is from ashley how did you and your hubby meet we met at work um i think i mentioned this in my husband tag too so for those of you that haven't seen my husband tag i'll link that down below as well but yeah we met at work he was a web developer and i was a graphic designer at my previous job so we met there and sparks and now we're married and while we're on the marriage talk this one is from i'm gonna try to say these these usernames correctly so forgive me if i say them wrong i think it's um zahori 21 on instagram what is the best thing of being married and what age do you recommend getting married I would say the best thing of getting married is that you get to be with that person all the time. You know, getting to wake up and go to sleep with that person is really, really valuable to me. That's something that I really enjoy. And just having like a partner, you know, like a life partner with you to make decisions. And it's just a really beautiful thing, like to have someone with you. And that's, that's why, that's why we got married and I'm happy. So, and I mean, a Jet's happy too. That sounded weird, but we're both very happy. I assure you. And then, uh, what's, I think it was, what is the best age to get married? What age do you recommend getting married? Ajet and I got married really early, like early in our relationship. We had been dating for about a year. And to us, it felt early because I think we both needed more time to get to know each other before we did. So I would say it's not so much about age. It's more about how well you know that person and how well you know that you can live with that person. Like if, if your views are okay with it, I recommend living with someone before you marry them. And of course that that can depend on what you believe in, but that's just what, what I think is the right thing. And then as far as age goes, I mean, it's, I think, I don't know. So many people get married really young and last forever. And so many people get married really late and last forever. I really think that it's about when you and your partner really feel ready and really feel like you're ready to, to commit your life to someone, because that's what it is. I mean, you're committing your whole life to someone else so you have to be sure that you're ready and that you guys can coexist happily and that's what it's really about more than age for me I was I want to say 22 when I got married I believe I was 22 I'm 24 now that answers another question of how old am I which was from Facebook I'm 24 okay so I got this question a lot on a lot of different social media platforms it was are Jet and I going to have children do I want children are there children if ever you know that question and the answer is right now we're not thinking kids. I mean, we definitely are thinking kids for our future and it's just going to depend on where we're at at that time. You know, we want to spend a lot of time really making sure we've ironed out a lot of our kinks and making sure that we are financially stable. And when we get to that time is when we'll start thinking about kids. So I have PCOS and that means that when we do decide to have kids, we're going to have to really like allow that time and the money for fertility drugs and things like that so it's it's definitely something we're going to be doing in some years not anytime real soon but you know we're not not going to have kids so I don't know all right this one's from Instagram and it's from Miss Maggie Jill and it says would you ever consider cutting your hair short and I have to tell you like I've considered cutting my hair short a lot, especially over the summer, like every day I'm like, oh, I'm ready to just shave my head or like cut it really short or at least cut it this short because I'm always wearing it up. Like now that it's starting to get windy and cooler, it's a little more manageable and it's easier to wear it down. But otherwise in New York, it's pretty hot during the summer for me. So I, I get tired of it because my hair is really thick and for me and it just, it's hot. So I definitely have considered cutting it short, but I've been growing this for about two years now and 
I'm not ready to say goodbye, but I'm sure my ends could use a trim. That's for sure. All right, another one from Instagram. This is from Danielle Desuki. I think is how you say that. Danielle, I hope that was right. I gave it my best effort. And it says, what is your favorite beauty hack that you've tried? I would say the tin foil curls. That was probably my favorite because that one was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun filming that one. And I don't know. It just, it was a great hack and a great video. And even though it didn't work out awesome for me, like I know it works out awesome for some people and you guys just had a really great reaction to it. So like the, that's the first one that pops into my mind. All right, another from Instagram. This is from Nikiv22, and it says, Has YouTube changed your life for the better? And will you be doing any more Holy holy Grail or Holy Fail anytime soon? Love your videos. Thank you. Um, YouTube has absolutely changed my life for the better. I could never really decide what I wanted to be when I grew up, basically. And eventually, I just started this channel, and it's allowed me to have a creative outlet to kind of be myself and share my personality with the world and share my thoughts with the world. And fortunately, I have my awesome Elko fam. You know, you guys are the best. And it's just been really amazing to be embraced by people on the internet and just be able to do what I love for my job. So it's absolutely made my life better because I enjoy my job now instead of dreading my job and changing my job often because I could never find something that I actually enjoyed, you know, giving 40 hours a week of my life to because that's a lot of time and you got to do what makes you happy. That's just what I believe in. And then the other question is, will you be doing more Failure Holy Grail soon? Um, yes, <laughs> that's definitely a yes. Failure Holy Grail isn't stopping anytime soon. I know that I've been posting them a lot less frequently lately and that's just because I have been super busy uh, taking care of myself, you know, with the whole BPD thing and then as well as working with a bunch of different brands. I've been talking to a bunch of different companies and brands of, you know, trying to figure out what I want to bring to you guys and what I don't and, you know, what, what brands I want to affiliate myself with and which ones I don't and, you know, I've been speaking and trying to get more into like public speaking on the panels and stuff like I did recently at the Dia & Co event and yeah, Failure Holy Grail is absolutely coming back, you know, trying to bring this back around. They are my hardest videos to film and edit and I love them and I promise I'm gonna bring them back. I'm trying to get one ready for this Friday. So no huge promises, but it's definitely something that I want. It's kind of like a goal for me this week is to get a Fail the Holy Grail up this weekend. So, but don't worry, like they're not going anywhere. I promise they're continuing. Just be patient with me. All right, the next one's from Twitter and it is from Megan and it is, what's your favorite TV show slash movie at the moment? Hashtag Elko fam. I love that hashtag. It's my favorite one. My favorite TV show right now, like what I'm currently binging on and marathoning is Catfish. And I'm, I don't know. I know I'm so late to the boat. Like I started watching it this past weekend and I just finished season one and I'm in season two and I've been marathoning it like crazy because I'm completely addicted right now. But with that said, this is the week where everything's coming back. You know, we have The Voice, we have Nashville, we have Empire. Um, I know there's a bunch of other stuff coming back as well. I think Modern Family comes back this week too. I don't know. All of those shows I absolutely love. So that list that I just gave you, they're all my favorites. I love them all. I love The Voice. I love Empire. I love Nashville. I'm, I think I'm most excited for Nashville. I think, I think I am. So those are my favorite shows. And movies, I haven't been watching a lot of movies lately, but I really, really enjoy documentaries and I really enjoy romantic comedies. So that's what that is. Okay, the next one is a tweet from my brother, Lex, at Glacier6, and he tweets, why am I your favorite sibling? Hashtag Elko's actual fam. <laughs> and this one gave me such a laugh, so I just had to, like, shout it out there. But, you know, Lex, you know I don't play favorites. I have two brothers, Lex and John, and they're both my favorites. And while they are Elko's actual fam, I'm just really blessed that I have, actual, like, Elko fam, humongous Elko fam forever, everyone fam. So that's a sentence. We're going with it. All right, so the last one we're gonna to do tonight is from Jennifer on Facebook, and it says, Hi Ellie, do you think you'll ever do a weekly vlog series? You have such a wonderful personality, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that would love to see what daily life in NYC is like. First of all, thank you, Jennifer, because that's really sweet. Um, I've absolutely thought about it. Like, I feel like that's definitely a dream of mine to do, and I feel like I don't do that many interesting things. Like, I'm such a homebody, so it would be very difficult for me to fill a daily vlog series with actual things besides laying on the couch or working or, you know, I don't lay on the couch all the time. It's not what I'm saying, but <laughs> I tend to be a homebody. I tend to stay at home or in my neighborhood in LIC. And so as soon as I can figure out what I would fill it with, and if I could figure out if I am just minimizing like my life and that I really could be interesting, I want to do it. So I'm hoping that at some point soon, I can do it, even if I just do it for like a week. Like I really, I really would enjoy that. So yeah, you know, if that's something you guys would really like to see, you know, a, like a daily NYC vlog series, like leave it down below. I, 
I want to I want to know if you guys really do want to see that because if it's like overwhelmingly that you do want to see that, then I'll do it. So there you go. So yeah, that's the last question for now. I'm really happy that you guys sent me as many questions as you did. Thank you so much for your amazing responses. I'm like completely shocked that there were so many of them. So thank you for that. And also I'm really happy because this means that I have a ton more questions to answer in videos for you guys. So keep an eye out. I'll be doing more of these Q and A's and I'm going to you know, keep the list of all the questions you guys asked on my phone. So I always have them to answer for you guys. And yeah. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'm hoping I'll be seeing you guys on Friday for Fail and Holy Grail. We shall see what I can do. I'm really going to try to make it happen. And yeah. So I love you guys so much. Thank you again for all of this. And yeah. See you next time. Bye. Now that I have my three sections and my two hands, this is now my holding hand and this is now my braiding hand. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first section and I'm going to cross it over the center. And then I'm going to grab the part that fell and make a new